Hello folks, this is the Robinzoid, doing a follow-up, I suppose, on the video that was posted last night. Well, you remember how I talked about the elementary school in Burlington, Massachusetts, that had rejected the pride flag and also tore them down and probably uh, stomped on them, who knows what they did with them? Um, well, they're not the only ones. Apparently, this other district um, in Hamtramck, Michigan, Hamtramck, Michigan, um, did the very same thing. And actually, they took it even more to the extremes because the entire city actually banned the so-called pride flag. Uh, I'll tell you why as we get through the video. You remember that video I did last time, right, with the Marshall Simons Middle School, right? Well, this situation is no different. Okay, now, if you know anything about Hamtramck, Michigan, it's right outside of Detroit, it's a neighboring city, and it's a largely Muslim community. And, of course, they, I don't know if they still do this today, but they often would play the uh, Muslim call to prayer at least five times a day. And being as religious and deeply devout as Muslims are, you know they're going to reject this pride garbage. They always do. <clears throat> so it's good to know that the city council have actually been, have actually voted down. Okay, can you stop that? Right. If they thought that a stunt like that of being all gay kissy face right in public was going to help their cause, <laughs> they were sorely mistaken because that actually led to even more of a backlash. Like I said in my last video, there's a backlash against this whole pride thing. And the reason why? Because... These people are actually hurting their cause more than helping it. And do keep in mind that this happened in a city that large, that predominantly votes overwhelmingly Democrat. I mean, I think over 70% of their town is actually Muslim communities. <clears throat> but, like I said, Muslims are deeply devout and very religious. And quite frankly, these are the people who actually fleed their own countries to get away from the oppression of those like, say, Saddam Hussein or uh, uh, Osama Obama or whatever. <laughs> you name the dictator. They fled those nations and came to Hamatramic to get away from that. They probably shouldn't have played the Muslim call to prayer five times a day. That was a bad idea. But nevertheless... This was a very Democrat city that voted overwhelmingly to get rid of the pride flags. You might recall that little piece of video footage that I had in the last video of Muslim mothers and children stomping on the pride flag. Well, I'm not sure if it came from the same city, but I'm pretty certain the sentiment is exactly the same. Uh, if you want to, I'll just show you the clip again. Now, if a city as liberal as Hamtramck, Michigan, with an overwhelming Democratic voting margin of 70% can do this to ban the so-called pride flag, where are the Republican cities doing this? Why aren't they doing it? Why are the damned Republicans so spineless? That's because they're sending a very strong message. They're just tired of all this LGBT, QI, plus, Z, X, 7, G, 16, 38 nonsense being thrust down their throats. They're tired of the whole pride uh, gay flag thing being thrust down their throats. They're tired of, well, I don't think I'm going to get into that third part. But I will get into this, and I'm going to say this. Not to be homophobic, not to be bigoted, but I have to show you this because the others won't. And I believe this actually did occur in Ukraine. Roll it. And what you might not know, because nobody's reported it, 
is that your buddies in the Ukraine that Biden has asked you to support in their war against Russia, they're also burning pride flags. Oh, yeah. Don't think that just because you don't hear it on fixed news or any of the other news outlets, it's not happening. So I hope you better understand now why there's such a backlash against this whole Pride Month nonsense. People are tired of it. I've already mentioned that. It's not just the right. It's not just the Republicans. It's not the Charlie Bible thumpers. It's everybody. Everyone is getting tired of this. They're getting tired of seeing these damned rainbow flags everywhere they go now. They're getting tired of all of this uh, in-your-face gayness. You know, another example, of course, is what happened at the White House when Biden broke protocol by placing the American flags on the sides uh, and putting the so-called pride flag right there in the middle. That alone should be an impeachable offense. But of course, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I mean, obviously, they banned those uh, freaks that were showing off their fake titties. But, and they said, well, it's my truth, it's my truth. There's only one truth, the truth. And if those boobs were falsies, you're living a lie. This has been the Robozoid saying that you got to remember always that wokeness is weakness because many Americans are starting to realize that now. And they also understand the secret values, of course, of power to the music in the streets as opposed to that gay pride pop garbage that's being thrust down everybody's throats. Again, sorry for the gross analogy.